Hello, welcome back to our English grammar. Today we are going to study a grammar section in a grammar topic number 2 subject and predicate. We already completed topic number 1 that is kinds of sentences. What is a sentence? How many kinds of sentence? How the sentence makes? Now, now in this lecture we are going to study what is a subject and predicate? Now you understood sentence. So in a sentence there are the part that we are going to study here. So let's begin the chapter that is subject and predicate. See what is subject? Here definition given the subject means noun or pronoun. Subject means any noun. Or pronoun. Now do you know the children? What is a noun and what is a pronoun? Yes, noun means any name of a person, place, animal or thing. And pronoun means you can use instead of noun. For example, he, she, it, they, we, I, you, etc. These are the pronouns. He, she, it, they, I, we, etc. And noun is the name of a person, place, animal or thing. This we already completed previous lecture. So it is known as a subject. It means always sentence begins with a noun or pronoun. Without that sentence never starts. Anyway, any way you can speak, you start, you can prepare sentence. It should be first noun or pronoun, beginning of the sentence and it is of capital letter. See here, I given you five examples. In these five examples, whatever you can see in red color, all these are the noun or it may be pronoun and that is known as a subject. So, see the examples. Birds can fly in the sky. Birds are the subject. India is our country. India is our subject in this sentence. Mahesh is flying a kite. Mahesh, Mahesh is a subject. We are going to the zoo. We is the subject. You must pray every day. You is a subject. So, we and you is a pronoun subject. And birds, India, Mahesh, all these are the names. Birds name, country name, boy name. So, these are the subject. Understood everyone? What is a subject? Subject means any noun or pronoun. In a sentence, it is comes beginning. Sentence only begins with a noun or a pronoun. It is known as a subject. Now, the sentence has two parts. Always the sentence has two parts. First part is the subject and the second part is the predicate. So, subject we studied in, we study here. Now, what is the subject? Yes, any noun or pronoun. Sentence begins with the noun or pronoun. It is a subject. Let's take the predicate. Predicate means it is coming after the subject. It means verb plus object equal to predicate. Now, what is a verb? You know, verb means any action. Any action done by the subject. So, in a sentence, first comes subject. After subject comes the verb. And after verb comes the object. And that verb plus object combined together becomes a predicate. Examples here given, I will explain you. First, take the definition. What is predicate? The predicate adds more information about the subject. It contains the verb. Verb plus object equal to predicate. For example, Rohan kicked the ball. Rohan kicked the football. So, Rohan is a yes subject. Kicked is a verb. What kicked? The football. The boys collected stones. The boys are subject. Collected is Verb and stones are object. So, verb 
and the object becomes a predicate. Understood what is predicate? Verb plus object becomes predicate. Means what the subject says. First what the subject is doing in a verb we can get. And what the subject does. Doing. That is called an object. And a verb plus object becomes a predicate. You have to ask the question what, whom, where according to the sentence wise. To whom you have to ask the question? To the subject. You will get the answer. Answer. That is object. And that object, verb plus object becomes a predicate. So downside given, what is object? Subject is doing something in a sentence. It is doing. Means subject is doing something. Subject is speaking, doing something. That is known as a object. For example, here, again same examples I taken. Birds can fly in the sky. Birds is a subject. Can fly is a verb. Birds flying. Where? What I ask here question? To who are birds? Where? So, birds can fly in the sky. Birds can fly in the sky. So, in the sky is an object. Object of that subject. And that verb plus object becomes a predicate. Means in a sentence, first it is noun. Noun or pronoun. After that, verb coming. Helping verb and main verb. And after verb, object comes. That verb plus object becomes a predicate. Understood everyone? India is our country. India is a subject. Noun or pronoun. Is, is a verb. Our country is a object. What is India? Our country. You can ask there what? So India is doing. Means something is doing subject. India is our country. So our country object. So verb plus object becomes a predicate. Mahesh is flying a kite. Mahesh is a subject. Is flying. Verb. Mahesh is flying. What flying? Kite. Kite is an object of that subject. So, verb plus object becomes a predicate. It's very simple. Before that, we studied sentence. How the sentence prepare? Group of words make a sentence. You already learned there are various kinds of sentence. Some push interrogative, uh, imper imperative, assertive, exclamatory. This sentence will be already completed. So, these are the kinds of sentence. But how, what is there in a sentence? So, sentence has two parts. That is, first part is subject and second part is predicate. Subject means any noun or pronoun. Predicate means something says. Subject is saying something. That is known as a predicate. Verb plus object you have to remember. And you already studied last year and in singular plural topic also I told you what is a noun, what is a pronoun. Here I told you what is a verb. Some doing action. Subject is doing something. Action. Eating, playing, drinking, all this. It is a verb. And what is subject doing? That is an object. So, verb plus object becomes a predicate. Understood everyone? So, this is only our topic today's subject and predicate. Subject means noun or pronoun. Predicate means verb plus object. Equal to predicate. This much only you have to remember. Sentence begins with the. Yes. Sentence begins with the subject. Any noun or pronoun. After that verb. After that object. So verb plus object becomes a predicate. Now let's take the exercise. So after the definition of subject and predicate. Let's take the exercise. Page number 5. On page number 5, these 10 to 12 questions are given. Circle the subject and underline the predicate. So, this exercise I given the answers also. See here, page number 5, textbook exercise, answers given. You have to write down questions also and like this table you have to prepare and write down answers also in your notebook. Next, page number 6, exercise number 2. 
These are the questions. In this, he are given, read the sentences. Already sentences are given. Underline the compound subject and circle the compound predicate. So, you don't underline. You prepare the table, compound subject and compound predicate and write down. I given answers this exercise. But now you know the subject. Subject means any noun or pronoun beginning of the sentence. After subject, verb plus object becomes a predicate. That you know. So, that is only same thing. You don't confuse it too much. Compound subject means together noun or pronoun coming. For example, Mahesh and Ramesh are playing in the on the ground. So, Ramesh and Mahesh, two noun, two subject come. That is called compound subject. Compound means you know you have to use and but like this way. Conjunction. Same way, compound predicate also comes together after the verb. After the verb, simple predicate also come there that join with compound predicate. It means conjunctions and but or conjunction you know everyone, six standard. So, that conjunctions words joining the sentence that is called a compound predicate. So, you don't confuse compound means what? It is double. Subject means noun or pronoun. Compound subject means two noun and pronoun coming combined. You and I are reading in, in the library like this way. Same way that is related to that subject, compound predicate also. Two predicates, they are coming together by using and, but, or. So, that is only by this exercise you come to know. So, read the sentence properly and what is how the compound subject and compound predicate that you have to check in the answers. Here I give one. Next page, page number 6 and 7 in your textbook. That you have to solve yourself. I give one here. Page number 6, exercise number 3, complete the sentence with suitable compound subject. You have to use here compound subject. Means beginning of the subject, beginning of the sentence, noun or pronoun only coming. Noun or pronoun means subject. So, you have to use here not one, one subject. You have to use combined subject. For example, dash, love, chocolate. I and my friend love chocolate. Sita and Gita love chocolate. Dash are very careful while crossing roads. They are very careful while crossing roads. They can also you can use. Otherwise you can use. I and my friend are very careful while crossing roads. I and my brother are very careful while crossing roads. I and my brother. These are the combination of the subject. Two subject come like that we have to use all same way page number seven exercise number four complete the sentence with suitable compound predicate given here so here compound predicate you have to use the fairy the fairy here given the fairy is looking very beautiful and attractive the fairy is looking very beautiful and attractive is looking verb attractive and beautiful that is a predicate combined predicate comes like this way you have to use the sentence carefully try to solve yourself and complete these all exercise now listen all the children those who not get the textbook of grammar then also you don't confuse because in video, I given all the definitions, all the exercise with questions and answers. So, that only you have to practice and understand for your first unit test. Because MCQs, objectives only I am going to ask for grammar also combined. So, only you should know what is a sentence, what are letters, what are words, how many kinds of sentence. 
each sentence definition, each parts of speech, and this today I taught that is singular and uh, subject and predicate. All this you have to understand videos, revises again and again. Because objectives only I am going to ask you. But you should know what is subject, what is predicate, how many parts of speech are there, which is the seventh part of speech, all the definitions of the part of speech. Understood? So don't worry if you not have textbook. Because already I taught everything, grammar section also in videos only. You have to look down. In YouTube, I said the videos. You see the YouTube and find out their videos. Grammar section only I said. Understood everyone? And this lesson also you have to copy down in your notebook. Subject and predicate lesson. Definitions all. After definition all exercises you have to solve yourself properly. Understood everyone? Okay, with this, grammar topic, subject and predicate is completed. You complete in your notebook. After this, again I am going to send you one video. That is of lesson number 1 from unit 2. It is also easy lesson, simple lesson. You read it and understand the video and complete the exercise. Thank you.